crazy times, crazy pumps, we are about to see some crazy action in the crypto space, especially lining up with Bitcoin. In this video, we're going to delve into exactly what that is. Guys, thank you for being here with me today. I truly appreciate it. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Ducas. Guys, it has been busy. Even my live session didn't work for you guys last night. The evening been a little bit wild and crazy and funny, but all good. You have a nice video coming out for you later. I have put, I have um, put it there for release later. So make sure you hit that notification bell to subscribe to the channel and get that notification when that video is released. This one I'm doing right here, right now for you guys on the spot, and I will publish it as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so today we are currently seeing the Morales money bubbles bleeding like crazy, except for Tao, of course. Uh, Tau continues to absolutely pump and obliterate. So lots of stuff busy happening there. Aptos is falling. Uh, and we are going to see a number of cryptos over the course of February. And I will do another video for you guys um, probably tomorrow or the next day. But guys, make sure not to miss out on that video because we are going to see certain cryptos like Aptos and a couple others uh, releasing some tokens back into the ecosystem which means that there could be a massive dump income, just as a very strong heads up for you guys. Um, the fear and greed index is now sitting at 64, so we're back in the greed. Then the cryptocurrency market cap, not much from the change of last night, but we've got 10 cent. I don't know what that is, but I wonder if it's related to 10, uh, 10 cent. Uh, very, ish, uh, very interesting. And then look at this. Potential is now at $500. She's like, definitely uh yeah i mean that's a lot of money for a coin already but i mean then again bitcoin is forty five thousand dollars pretty much or forty two thousand dollars today so currently trading volumes about 50 billion dollars the bitcoin price is forty two thousand nine hundred ethereum is twenty three twenty nine uh usdt's market cap guys just take a look at this thing and we're going to have a little bit of a talk about this in a moment but here is where the most amount of trading volume is coming in and if we're looking at the trading volume that is equaling half of that trading volume which means that something's coming something's happening someone is about to get ready to buy more crypto okay because that is officially one quarter of that entire um market cap so that's very interesting guys bnb at 302 solana at 94 95 xrp at 50 cents cardano at 49 cents avalanche at 34 cents dogecoin at uh, 0.78 Jeez, like Chainlink is now at $19 a piece, guys. Wow. We are literally seeing some crazy, crazy, crazy pumps out there in the market. If you guys have not yet got yourself some of these coins, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to be missing out if you don't. So shout out to Bitcoin Archive for this beautiful uh, share here from Michael Saylor. Michael Saylor says, Tomorrow, after the market closes, MicroStrategy will release financials and discuss corporate strategy and business outlook. If you're interested in our Bitcoin strategy or invested MicroStrategy, uh, come and join us. I think that's going to be pretty cool. And this is some breaking news, guys, that nearly 30% of all stocks in China have trading stopped as the CSI 1000 index falls 8%. Crazy shit happening out there in the market. Okay. We are going to talk a little bit about that because these things make a difference. So this is a chart from the Sculping Pro because the bull run has not yet even started. As you guys can see, we had a peak over there, which essentially ended up being the peak. We haven't reached that peak yet on this um, RSI indicator. Essentially, we've kind of rounded off from the bottom. We've broken out, we retested, and then we pumped. We broke out, we retested, and pumped. We broke out, we haven't yet retested, are we getting ready to pump? Look guys, if we do end up retesting, we could see 30,000. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw 30,000, but do I think it's gonna go there? No. Do I believe it's impossible for it to go there? No, I think it can if it, um, if we really get ugly, ugly um, sell-offs in the market, but GPTC has stopped selling, or not stopped selling, but the selling pressure has slowed down absolutely tremendously and it's almost insignificant now so remember the wall street cheat sheet we have uh we are currently in a phase of hope at the moment there is disbelief so anger down at the bottom depression disbelief hope is where we're currently at 
you know, the, even if it falls a little bit, like I said, we could end up falling back down to this level. I have drawn this level out for you a number of times, but then Bitcoin could end up shooting and pumping right up here. This chart says kind of up to about 300,000. That's where we'll see some euphoria. Guys, none of us actually know where Bitcoin will end up really in the near future. But what we do know is that it is essentially and inevitably going higher. If you like that, let me know down in the comments below. All right, some news for you guys. ARK Invest Kathy Wood says substitution of gold for Bitcoin is officially underway. So last year, during the regional bank crisis in March, Bitcoin shot up 40% as the Cree. The regional bank index was imploding. And here again, the regional bank index is acting up. And after a little bit of a correction, um, 11 ETFs were introduced. We are seeing Bitcoin catch a bid again. So this idea that it's a flight to quality or a flight to safety is really asserting itself here. The reason we believe Bitcoin went down after the ETFs were introduced is because there was a lot of anticipatory buying before the ETFs came out. There was a bit of sell on the news. These are the trading types who just are opportunistic in that way. So end of story, guys. This chart just shows you that even relative to gold, Bitcoin has been rising. There's now a substitution into Bitcoin, and we think that is going to continue now that there is much easier way, less friction filled way to access Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin to, uh, to gold, Just by the way, uh, you can now buy 10 ounces, more than 10 ounces of gold with one Bitcoin, obviously, because Bitcoin is sitting at $42,000, $43,000. And an ounce of gold is sitting just under $2,000. So, of course, right? Very, very interesting. So, veteran trader Tone Bay says he'll become a, a super bullish on Bitcoin once Bitcoin starts closing above this level. So, in a perfect world, we would start to rally here real soon, get back up to the top of the range, which is 44, then fall back down to the bottom of the range, which is 40, get some people scared, touch the 128-day moving average, which is what he's talking about, um, at 40,000 and then rally from there, or just continue to consolidate and allow the 128 day moving average to catch up. I like that. I do think it's really good. The only other high to deal with after going above 50 K is going to be the 65 K closing all time high. I think if Bitcoin starts to establish itself above 50 K FOMO fear of missing out is going to break loose. Like the ultimate FOMO is going to break loose everyone is going to be rushing in. Guys, I do agree with Mr. Tone Vase there. A trader says altcoins are ready to witness the next push to the upside. We are gonna have a look at that in the charts. Make sure to stay tuned right to the end of the video. Um, the upside predicts rallies for Chainlink Challenger. So very, very interesting. Chainlink Challenger would be uh, Pith as an example. Altcoins are ready to have their next push and could possibly go 2X in the next months. Crucial areas holding through which a higher low is established and the next push could start. So at time of writing, total three is at 481 billion. My general, my general theory is that Bitcoin uh, consolidating in the coming months pre-halving, a final run towards the resistance of 4850K. After that, another correction to 3638 and from their altcoins to continue outperforming Bitcoin. I do like that. I do agree with it. And like I said, Oracles are starting to fire up things like Pith. So I will be doing a video for you guys on Pith. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We will absolutely talk about that. So Pith uh, API 3 is also waking up. As we can see, the recent push, as long as it stays above 250, I think a rally to $4.60, $4.80 is possible. So very, very much uh, beautiful. Now, what does the Bitcoin chart look like, guys? And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to give the thumbs up. You guys know. As usual, it helps the algorithm, guys. If you like my video about Teo, go check it out. Or if you like Teo, go check it out, guys. Really cool video. That that coin can definitely pump to the moon and beyond. Now, in my live session yesterday, guys, I said, once this starts bottoming out, we really start to pump all the way to the top, okay? We have bottomed out already down here, okay, which was over there at that point. We haven't even got anywhere near the top, guys. We haven't even come close to where we're looking to go, guys. So for me, 
we're still very 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 bullish at the moment and if i zoom in you know and just have a good squeeze at that gaussian channel there our weekly candles are doing pretty darn awesome wouldn't you say um and in fact you know what i'm going to do i'm actually going to just delete i did say to you guys look at this inverse head and shoulders pattern so even if we kind of bounce and consolidate pull back down to the 40 and then make our way up that's what that's what all of these people are saying they're saying the same thing guys but we're in a capitulation phase and it's as simple as that so be patient accumulate as much as you can and stack them up no financial advice of course but here you can see the altcoins are absolutely and uncertain uh, certainly um getting ready to make their rally as well the same thing with this same indicator the bottom happened over here so we bottomed out if you guys weren't buying altcoins in this vicinity sorry you guys haven't made the gains that we've seen i did say that it was a double bottom we did double bottom out of here and we're finding support on our white horizontal level at this 480 billion dollar market cap now bitcoin honestly is looking very very juicy And if I have, I want to show you guys this chart. So guys, you can really see that I'm using a number of indicators here. So I drew this chart. If you haven't seen this chart of mine, go check out some of my other videos. I'll leave them up in the links ahead for you guys. This one, this one, etc. that show you what I have calculated in this chart. Now, with that being said, okay, I want to show you that the MVRV, the RSI, BSI, the volume indicator, the Gaussian channel, the... Um, uh, the Fibonacci and so many other indicators are actually telling us that right now we're taking a breath of fresh air and we're getting ready to make the next massive leg up. Okay, super simple. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, we can see how dominance is pretty much playing out. So we're talking about UST uh, DT dominance has pushed up hard but recently it has been falling with this dollar. So the same thing, could USDT dominance collapse because the money is gonna go outflow from here, okay, into the altcoins. That is the purpose of Tether. So, um, so I do expect this to continue down here and then pull back up and then kind of come back down to meet this level. At that point, I think that will be the last of the bull cycle um, at the end of the bull cycle. If we have a look at the market cap, look at how the market cap, its entire life has literally just been going up, guys. Tether is going to continue to print, firstly. And secondly, they are backed, they have backed themselves by some huge quantities of Bitcoin, which gives them the ability to do this even more. Much better than what I can say for the actual dollar, because the dollar has got zero gold zero anything zero anything to back itself with so well done to tether and shout out to tether and that's why i say to you guys do not be fighted by the noise that you hear out there in the market tether is doing some cool stuff and even though you see of course this is a psychological level 80 billion dollars why not why wouldn't i retrace at 100 billion dollars i wouldn't be surprised if we retraced back down here okay um but at the end of the day we're going to need to print lots more money tether's going to have to print lots more tether in the space for people to use it and trade with it and that's exactly why i think we're bottoming out and we're going to head up even further and do some crazy rally like this and see the tether market cap literally go from 3 billion right up to 80 billion that's a 50x gain guys so are we going to see a 50x gain coming to it right now because if we had to 50x um 100 billion we're literally talking about five trillion guys coming into the space i'm telling you right now i can see that happening and unfolding and guys five trillion okay is all the way up here look at how small that makes the chart look completely irrelevant so massive massive gains to be made in tether guys well into the tether guys because they're holding up a huge project 
Now, the tiny stocks that we were talking about, and um, this is the Chinax, but we'll go and look at the other one now. But essentially, we've been dropping. However, what I do want to say is that this is an inverse head and shoulders pattern that is currently perhaps looking to kind of make a breakout and retest this zone back up here at 90. So I wouldn't believe all the news because the Chinese government are not going to let their economy flunk or fail. They will print money, guys. It's the same as the US dollar. It's the same as any other economy around the world. They're going to have to print more money to save their economy. Super simple. Now, let's go and see if we can go and see the CSI 1000 uh, index. Okay. And see what that is looking like. So there you go. That's why we had a crazy, crazy drop. Now, with that being said, okay, we're reaching a bottom here. I did say this to you guys. So we're reaching a bottom. In fact, let's just draw a horizontal line. Save, save me some time and energy here. Whoa, there's the bottom. Look at that bottom there, guys. Okay, it's a double bottom. The likelihood is that the Chinese government are literally about to print tons and tons and tons and billions of Chinese renminbi, okay, which is going to inevitably send this thing back up here, okay, at least to this level to meet the Gaussian channel kind of making its way down. You see that? So guys, don't be fooled by what's being said in the news, okay? Come and look at the charts because the charts don't lie. The charts tell you everything. All right. Now guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying the content today and I hope you guys can subscribe to the channel and really appreciate you being here. Now, make sure to sign up with my BitFlex link down below. You guys, down below in the description and put in the comments of the video, you guys can get a $10 deposit bonus when you do a $100 uh, deposit. Now, you can see here, my XRP trade is still down a little bit. It's probably down a little bit more today. I would say, yeah, 26%. So my trade is down, guys. It's okay. I'm not going to go anywhere. I do see this um, um, market really in the next two to three months really going to start pumping like crazy. So, guys, I'm not going anywhere. We've got lots of evidence that the market is very likely going to end up pushing up rather than pushing down. So, um, so you can see here where we were looking at the area resistance we dropped we made backup we dropped we kind of just sitting guys we literally are just sitting but again if i zoom out a little bit here is your shoulder here is your head and here is your shoulder so an inverse head and shoulders pattern of that level okay gives us a nice target Boom, out of that, above the highs. We're kind of to the high here, back up to 48K, guys. So could we see us pump, boom, up here, then pull down here, then kind of drop back down and then pump back up? Yes, we could. Okay, but my trade is still in profit. It's doing well. It's kind of remained constant because there, nothing has really happened. So nothing really to report. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you for being here with me today. And a really special thank you for to me, um, would be a subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And a real big thank you to you guys for being here right till the very end. I truly appreciate every single one of you, blessed, beautiful souls. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.